we're getting a better idea of the type of accommodations FEMA is offering to Hurricane Florence victims. Today, the Disaster Management Agency revealed two trailers that will be used by storm survivors. WNCT's Nicole Newman reports from the Global Trans Park. FEMA and the state of North Carolina are hoping that these trailers can provide a housing solution to Hurricane Florence victims as they wait for their homes to be repaired. There are two trailers available for eligible storm survivors. The, the idea is that if you have a home repairs that may take six months or less, that perhaps a travel trailer would be a good solution for you to put that on your property, have you live in that while, while repairs to your home continue. This is what the travel trailer looks like. It has three beds, a small seating area, and a table with a refrigerator, sink, and stove. If you have more extensive repairs required to your home that may take longer um, than six months, maybe up to 18 months or so, then perhaps the manufactured housing unit might be the better solution for you. This is what the inside of the manufacturer housing unit looks like. There's a bedroom on each end with the living room in between with a sofa, chair, and tables. There's even a kit with supplies like paper towels, plates, and other items to help survivors settle in. The process to get one of these units includes an inspection to your damage home. The inspector will come out and they will do a real property valuation on the loss. So FEMA starts that at 17,000. These trailers will be provided for eligible Florence survivors in 10 of the hardest hit North Carolina counties. In the east, those counties include Carteret, Craven, Jones, Duplin, Onslow and Pender counties. Officials tell me they're trying to buy these trailers in state to support the local economy. In Lenore County, Nicole Newman, 9 on your side. The Global Trans Park in Lenore County is serving as a staging area to bring the FEMA trailers in. In the days before Florence even hit, the business park has served as a critical role in helping with the Florence recovery effort. Where we are today is the third phase of our operations here at the North Carolina Global Trans Park. Uh, we staged prior to the hurricane all the preparation and personnel that were here. Then during the storm itself, we had over 2,400 first responders from 35 states operating out of here. Air assets, water rescue air set, assets, dropping supplies, um, all during the storm and post storm. Now, the important mission as it gets colder here in eastern North Carolina, getting housing for our people across the state. Thomas says it was critical to be prepared for Florence since the East is still cleaning up from Hurricane Matthew in 2016.